I'd like to introduce you to the latest version of MindMap AR Beta. So MindMap AR was built on a couple of fundamental beliefs that are important to understand um, before really understanding what MindMap AR is about. And the first is that everyone has a lot of untapped potential. And the root of that potential is in our brain's ability to understand 3D spaces and structures. We just have a knack for recognizing and recalling anything in space. And what AR allows us to do is build knowledge using that, which is something that we really haven't had a lot of opportunity to do before. Now, as you can see, MindMap AR is an augmented reality app and uh, it allows us to do 3D mind mapping, which is what you're starting to see form here. And it's based on Google Tango. And today there are two Google Tango capable devices that you can buy. The original was the Lenovo Fab 2 Pro. Uh, that's available in the market today. And there's also the Asus Zenfone AR, which is the newest option. Now overall, MindMap AR is really easy to use. It's just a matter of um, walking around your thought structure and tapping on nodes to build and edit nodes. So you don't have to worry about space like you would on a whiteboard or a two-dimensional app. Also, you don't have to worry about where things are laid out. That all happens automatically. And there's really easy radial menus to work with. You just tap on the node and the radial menu comes up showing you all of the options you have to work with that node. And lastly, you can use voice input. So let's say I want to change the name of this node. Voice input. So now I've changed the name of the node without having to type anything out, which really allows you to work with your thoughts and do some brainstorming quite easily. So uh, let me do a quick rundown of the features that you'll have with MindMap AR. Um, so one of the first is hyperlinks. If you have a node with a label to something that you want to um, reference, a web page, you can create a node with a hyperlink and then tapping on that will allow you to jump to that web page directly. Um, you can also have directional relationships. So if that's important, important in the structure that you're working with, you can add either a directional or bi-directional arrow. You can of course add and delete, undo, redo, and um, cut, copy, paste, expand and collapse the node structures. And overall, uh, these are features that make working with a mind map pretty intuitive. Now there's also going to be some premium features, but in the beta version, these come free. And the first one, which you've seen some examples of so far, are image nodes, and that's what this is an example of. Um, there's also the ability to support multiple routes. So here I have a directional arrow going to a whole different mind map structure off to the left. And there's also uh, the ability to just jump to a node, which allows you to kind of warp to another node and it basically recenters the camera at that new location. And there's actually an example of that right here. So I'll just jump over to the benefits mind map, which is what we've got right here. So overall, working with a mind map in augmented reality space allows you to um, really see the big picture. You can analyze things um, and gain insight from getting that bigger picture. It also allows you to organize whether you're working on a uh, preparation work for a presentation or a paper, or when you're studying, overall you can learn more effectively. So this is the beta version of MindMap AR, and it's available for download now on the Google Play Store. So search for MindMap AR in quotes in the Google Play Store, and you should be able to find it. Thanks a lot, and please let us know what you think.